if you are paying for cursor windsor for cloud code you need to stop right now because there is a hundred percent free ai code editor just launched by google it's called anti-gravity and this ai code editor gives you access to gemini 3 pro cloud sonnet 4.5 and gpd oss 100 percent for free so this is anti-gravity by google and right now it is 100 percent for free at least until google announces any paid plans but until then this is 100 percent free to use and this is a native ide that you can install on your computer and it just works like cursor windsor or any other native ai code editors in fact this is literally a clone of windsurf because if you remember just a few months ago windsurf and all of the top executives of windsurf were actually hired by google in a 2.4 billion dollars deal so now google just released their own ai code editor which just looks like windsurf but anyways that's not our concern our concern right now is to use this ai code editor as much as we can unless this is 100 percent for free so you can just go ahead right now and start using gemini 3 pro which is a brilliant ai model right now for coding and in fact I released a video yesterday where I tested Gemini 3 Pro and performance wise this AI model is just mind blowing. I'm not exaggerating anything. I'm not hyping anything. You can watch that video yourself and you can see how good this AI model is really at coding and agentic tasks. Anyways, let's just get back to anti-gravity. So as you can see, I have installed it in here. So to install anti-gravity, you can just go back to antigravity.google.com. Just go to this link and now you can simply just click on this download for Windows. You can download it for Mac as well you can download it for linux as well so just download for windows right now because i'm a windows user so just download it for windows and then after that simply just install it and then it will ask you to log in with google so just log in using your google account that's it there is nothing complex you can simply just log in with google and this is the screen that you'll see right now you can see i am already logged in and now everything is ready before you proceed let's just quickly talk about today's sponsor you know what's the most annoying part of ai automation and ai testing when your proxies get flagged mid process and every single account gets banned i have had that happen multiple times just because the proxies i used were dirty here's the truth most of the proxy providers have 25 to 40 percent dirty ips that means bans broken sessions and wasted time especially if you're running automation affiliate campaigns or managing multiple accounts that's why i switched to node maven and honestly it's a game changer they offer cleanest proxies in industry up to 95 percent clean ips sessions that last up to 24 hours and world's first ip filtering system plus their new speed filter makes website load up to three times faster almost like using your home wi-fi you can literally generate proxies test them in the built-in proxy checker and you'll see high quality and success rate 100 percent every single time so if you're serious about reliability click the link in description use my promo code for 50 percent off and two times traffic and try node maven today let's get back to video now the most unique thing about this ai code editor is this agents manager so this is agents manager and, and here you can manage your different projects your different agents directly in here on this interface so you can see this interface is different than this interface so as soon as we'll open a project so it will just open separately and you can run multiple different ai agents on parallel right here inside this agents manager you can in fact directly start your project in here inside this start conversation section and here you can just maybe choose this playground or maybe choose a certain workspace this directory right now you can see i have this workspace which is test one so you can just either choose like a certain directory you can just choose this playground so playgrounds are basically your independent workspaces so here you can just like explain your idea and then choose your best ai model right now i will just choose gemini 3 pro and then it will start developing your idea everything else is just similar to cursor you can see this is our traditional interface and here we can just give it a prompt so let me just quickly open a folder and then we'll just create a new project so i've just created a new folder and i named it test 2 now i can simply just click on select folder and now is opened inside anti-gravity and now i can just give it a task in fact if you just go to your agents manager section and here you can find this is one workspace this is the second workspace so this workspace has two separate different projects and i can directly start a new project in here by choosing this particular workspace and now i can just like explain my idea and then it will just start development so let's just give it a quick prompt so my simple prompt is create an ai chatbot using gemini 3 pro through open router so what i'll do i'll just go to open router then create an api key in here so you can see i'm just creating this api key now you can simply just click on create and now i can just copy this api key and i can just paste that in here open router api key and one more thing that i need to do is i need to provide sample code so to do that i'll just go to this model section then i'll just go to this gemini 3 pro section and here i will just go to this quick start section and now i'll just provide it with this sample code so let's just go back here's the sample code press enter 
and also let's just give it more suggestions please create the interface of our chatbot using shatsian the overall ux should be modern all right cool so that's it that's what you want and now let's just press enter before i press enter what i'll do i'll just start a timer and we'll see that how long it will take to complete that task let me just start this five minutes timer and we'll see how long it will take to complete this task let me just press enter and now let's just see after we press enter how long it will take to complete this task so right now it is thinking and it is going to start the development and first it is going to set up a project we have not defined what sort of project we need to develop is it going to be so yeah it is going to create a react project that's perfect so right now we can just give it a name we can just name it chatbot hold on chatbot test press enter and now let me just go with all of the default options in here you can see project is already created that was quick and easy so far everything is all right right now you can see after installing these dependencies which is like to just set up the default project now it is running this project and let me just quickly open this link so our default vhs project is ready what i can do next let's just wait for it do i need to give a separate command no, i think it is still loading command completion up to 60 seconds okay fine check command status okay perfect now it will continue to develop our chatbot so first it created our default react project in vhs the which is a react framework i don't know if you can call it white or wheat whatever you can call it but i call it wheat with chess so now it is going to install tailwind css and also it will initialize tailwind css so far it has been two minutes and around 15 seconds so let's just quickly go ahead so right now you can see it is going to update this tailwind.config.js file to make sure that tailwind css is set up for this project and then it will start creating our chatbot right now it is showing agent terminated due to error so you can prompt the model to try again okay so for some reason agent was terminated let me just ask it to continue and let's just see if it can continue carry on from where it left time is already i think three minutes and 30 seconds so that time is passed let's just quickly see if it can finish this task in five minutes now it has fixed that tailwind css issue and now it has just created a new directory and i think it will now start setting up everything for our project to create that chat box it has still not set up environment variables that means it will take more than five minutes because right now only 40 seconds are left okay come on carry on i think the bright thing should be if i have like a side by side comparison with augment code because my favorite one is augment code or maybe with cursor so i'll actually create a separate video where i'll do separate side by side comparison with cursor and we'll give the same prompt and see if both of these ai code editors can actually perform at the same speed so apparently time is up now i'll simply just pause it here okay and i'll just restart so five minutes are up and now it is still installing some packages okay so far it has already started creating the front end for our chatbot i think it should not take more than a minute now so all right it has already completed the chatbot i think and now it wants to run this project and let me just quickly open this localhost link there is an error by the way it already has an integrated browser in here so it can actually use this browser to directly test everything and if there will be any error it can automatically fix that error so here you can see it has already opened this inside here and right now you can see it is using this browser it is using its agentic mode to look for this error it automatically takes the screenshot of this browser and then it analyzes what sort of error on what we are seeing on screen so that is really helpful to automatically navigate and fix errors by this kind of ai agents i think the error is still related to tailwind css okay fine so the most of the time that it wasted was for tailwind css so because we wanted to use so i think there was a version conflict in this so it is just trying different versions to make sure that it can work with all the dependencies agent terminated again okay this is the second time in last seven to eight minutes that agent was terminated i have just asked it to continue so it should not terminate this time and by the way it has already been more than i think eight minutes right now and it is going to run this project again let me just quickly refresh okay now it is taking that screenshot of this localhost url again and trying to understand the problem right now we're just 
looking at a blank white screen there is no error so it is trying to automatically fix the error so let's just wait for it okay so same error again it looks like you're trying to create okay so tailwind CSS error okay another five minutes are up and it has been more than 10 minutes now now let me just start the timer for the third time and hopefully it can resolve these basic tailwind css errors quickly it wants to run this project again on the same port now let me just refresh it gent got terminated again but this time our chatbot is working so i can see there is no environment variable set in here there is no dot env dot local file it might be using our api key directly in code so let me just quickly send message hi and see if it responds if it responds that means it is hard coded it has hard coded perfect so that means it has hard coded our api key inside our code rather than using it in an environment variable that's the first problem that we need to fix other than that overall i think it took around 12 minutes to develop this chatbot through open router which was not bad so overall performance wise it is good there are still bugs the agent crashed like three times during these like 12 minutes of execution so that means for longer tasks and more complex tasks agent can crash so they might fix this bug in further updates but so far this is 100 free to use so i think we cannot complain just go ahead and exploit it as much as you can and i will create more comparison videos between anti-gravity and something like cursor something like augment code these kind of ai agents i'll do comparison videos if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section and i'll see you next video bye bye